This is Tracy Davis, MySuccessZone.com. I come on every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern to actually share some online business building tips. That is the area that I primarily focus on. Sometimes we do a little bit with mindset, but primarily uh, this week in particular, we've been talking about ways to build an online business. So if you are just joining me, my name is Tracy Davis. I am a four-time author, a certified life coach. I have an MBA in marketing, and I'm a wife and a mom. And I'm just here to serve. So again, here Monday through Thursday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, and excited to be able to share. If you have the capabilities of sharing, please do so. You can share, you can tweet. And of course, I love the comments as well. Sometimes there is a delay. So if I don't get to your comment, please uh, don't take it personally. I, uh, If I see something I need to respond to, I will look you up and DM you to make sure that you're question or comment is answered. So I'm excited. I didn't get a chance to actually post what our topic would be tonight, but I want to talk about the power of before and after, before and after. Um, I love topics like that because immediately we're thinking, okay, what is she talking about before and after? So um, I know that a lot of times when we're referring to before and after, immediately a picture would come to your mind. Of course, we think in pictures. Words are, uh, when you think of words, they actually will give you uh, a picture oftentimes. If I say an orange or the color orange, you may think of the fruit orange, right? And so uh, we're going to be uh, just basically kind of piggybacking off of before and after to give you, again, uh, some online business building tips. On Monday, we actually talked about uh, systems, the importance of systems. And then on last night, we got a chance to share different ways that you can actually find your customers. Hey, Sandra, thanks for hopping on. So we got a chance to just, you know, go deeper in our businesses to actually understand where we can find people, you know, how we can actually uh, do uh, research. That was our main topic on last night. So we know the importance of systems and we know that we have to do research if we want to be successful in our businesses. So tonight we are going to be talking about Instagram. I didn't get a chance to put the title on here, but our title tonight is the power of a before and after. Okay. So let's kind of piggyback a little bit. What, what, I mean by before and after. A lot of times when I say that, people are thinking immediately like, you know, somebody in the weight loss industry and you'll see somebody has a picture before they weigh 200 pounds and after they're 150, right? Before, you know, they may have had a sad face and then after they're smiling, they look good, all of that. Well, we can take that same concept that people uh, are using in the weight loss industry very successfully and use that in any business, okay? So that's really what I kind of want to focus on. I want your mindset to shift to that point to think that your business should be able to uh, display some type of a before and after for your prospect, for your customer, okay? Because everybody is really looking for the opportunity for a transformation. Everybody, every time you buy something, we're looking for some type of feeling, okay? And so you have to figure out a way, uh, how can I take how my client feels now, that's their before, and give them the impression or show them what the after can be for them, okay? So I want to give you seven points tonight. Not going to be on here very, very long. It's Wednesday, and Wednesdays are usually a very long day for me with church and everything else. But I come on every night at 930 just to make sure that my entrepreneurs out there are successful and that you have something that you can work on during the day, okay? So tonight's topic really will give you some more homework. Hopefully, you got a chance to visit some of the sites I shared on last night. And tonight, when we get off, you'll get a chance to go deeper into your business, whether you have an established business or whether you are brand, brand new and excited about kicking things off strong for 2018, okay? So the first point tonight that I really want you to get is that people do not buy your products or services, they buy the after. Now you say, wait a second, I sell jewelry or I sell, you know, uh, you know, cars or whatever, but I want you to think about it. They are buying the after. They are buying how will I feel, how will I look? You know, what kind of attention will I get once I do make this purchase? Hey, uh, Proud Daddy, thanks for hopping on. Uh, thank you so much for hopping on. So we're just getting started. But again, keep that in mind. If you, because again, if you think that people are, if any product that we have, any service that we have, don't you agree that you're not the only one that does it, right? You're not the only one that offers that particular service, okay? Uh, well, let's piggyback again off the weight loss industry. 
there are so many weight loss products, are there not? You know, I've seen people that have green tea. I've seen people, there's like this, um, uh, my goodness, there's shakes that people can take. There are all kinds of things, right? What are they looking for? Are they excited about a shake? Are they excited about a pill? No, they're not excited about that. They are excited about the after Okay, so even if you have jewelry, we'll say jewelry, because Sandra has a jewelry company, and people may love it. It's like it's beautiful, but what you have to master is how can I paint a picture of how you will feel after you purchase this piece? Okay, how you feel, how you look, you know, the attention that you will command because you have this piece of jewelry, right? You have this, this particular, even if it's exclusive, right? What you're doing is you're painting a picture. So the same way we're talking about a before and after, that's a picture. Your business has to do the same thing. You have to paint a picture to your prospects so that they'll want to have a part of it. I'm telling you, if you grasp that with everything that you're doing, if you focus on the after, your business, your sales, it will skyrocket because you're actually saying, I have to take my client from before to after. The same way Nutrisystem always shows the picture. Is it uh, Marie? Marie Osmond? She shows, hey, I lost 50 pounds. They always show a picture of her before and her after. What that does is it makes the other person that's watching that wants to also lose 50 pounds, they're looking at her after, right? So if you have a website or something, you need to make sure that you are Focus more on not you. A lot of times when I go to people's website, it's all about them. People don't care about you. They care about themselves. All of us by nature are very selfish. So as entrepreneurs, as persons that are pushing products and services, we have to say, if this person is coming to my site, if they're coming to my Facebook page, how can I make them feel that they need what I have so they can have a better after experience, okay? So that's number one. For those that are just hopping on here on Periscope, my name is Tracy Davis, mysuccesszone.com, mysuccesszone.com. And I am a four-time author. I am a certified life coach. I have an MBA in marketing, and I love everything about business, especially being an entrepreneur where we call our own shots. I believe that if you're going to live a life, you should live a life that you desire and that you deserve. And of course, everybody's not an entrepreneur, but for those of us that are, I'm here to help you to live this life and to do it right, okay? I absolutely love it. I've been this way since I was a child. When I think about the conversations I've had with my sisters, with my, uh, my, my parents, I was always, you know, other kids are playing with dolls. I was playing with phones, answering the phone for my company at, uh, as a little kid, right? So that's your goal, Sandra. Exactly. We want to be entrepreneurs living the life that we desire and that we deserve. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So we want to understand that people don't buy products and services. They buy the after. Now, of course, we know they buy. We know there's some type of an exchange, but we have to know the goal. Okay. Number two. You have to really get good at painting the picture. You know, there are some people that, you know, they're really good at sales and they're like, oh my gosh, this person could sell ice to an Eskimo. What is really happening is, hola, thank you so much for popping on. Um, they're, they're really good at painting pictures. That's all it is. That's what sales is. They're painting a picture. They're showing the person, hey, this can be your after. This can be your after. I mean, if you think about it, cars take us from here to there. They take us from point A to point B. So what's the difference from a person that's driving a, I don't know, driving a Toyota versus a Mercedes, right? You know, they're looking for some type of after if they're buying the Mercedes versus the Toyota. Neither, nothing wrong with either car, but I want you to understand that it's not necessarily the functionality of what's happening when a person buys a car. A car, you put the key in the ignition or your finger to start it or whatever, and then you go. But there's a reason behind it. We have to become masters at painting that before and after. When you have this Mercedes and when you turn the corner and it hugs you as you turn and being able to have a massage as you are driving, you feel luxurious and having valet parking, you're painting a picture. You're painting a picture. Now, you may have the other person that says, you know, I want to save money and I want to be safe. So you've listened to what they want, what they're after is, and that's what you focus on. So if the person wants a Toyota and you talk about the safety of it, you know, how many miles you can put on it and all those types of things because you have found out 
what the after is that they are desiring. Oh, I'm telling you, this is huge right here. Some people are so focused on benefits and features, but they haven't found out what benefits the client wants. They haven't found out what the after uh, the client desires. So this can apply to any industry. Okay. Thanks so much for hopping on Cornell. Uh, thanks so much, everybody over there on Twitter and Periscope. Uh, thanks for hopping on. So if a person has DNA testing, that's a business type, right? A person has a truck driver school, that's an industry. If a person sells hair, right? Each of those industries, it doesn't matter. There is a desired result. There's a before and a after. And so what you have to do is sit down with your business and actually look at what is the after that most people desire, okay? So this leads us to number three. Number three is when we're talking about the before. This is very, very key because what you're doing is getting into the head, the heart of your client, right? You're going to identify what are their pains, okay? So in the weight loss industry, if a person, um, you know, again, who wants a big yucky pill? Who wants to take a shake? Who wants to say, I'm going to do a 10-day fast? Nobody really, but they want the, the results. So they'll, they'll do what's necessary, right? So a pain may be, I don't feel good in my clothes. I feel bloated. A pain may be my jeans, you know, uh, I have to lay down on the bed to zip them up, right? That's a pain, right? Uh, the pain may be, I don't like what the scale says. You know, I miss my high school body or I miss how I look when I was 20 or whatever. That may be a pain, right? You're going to write those things down. You're going to focus on the challenges that your client has. All of these things are the before, okay? What are the challenges? Um, you know, a person, you know, is like, oh gosh, how do I fit this with jewelry? A person may say, you know, I'm tired of getting jewelry that breaks or a jewelry that, you know, is hard to uh, not have something that everybody else has. Like me, I don't want something that everybody else has. That's just me. I like being unique. So one of those pain points for me is I'm looking for something that's different. So you would listen to a client that says, I want something different. And so when you're doing your ad, you would speak to her. You would speak to him. Are you a client? Are you a person looking for something that's different? Do you not want to look like everybody else? You know, that kind of a thing. If I go in a store and they have too many of something, I don't get it because I like being different. Now, that may be snooty. That may be whatever. It's Tracy. That's me, right? And so a, a person that wants to sell to me would need to know that, hey, she wants to be unique. She wants to be special. Your job would not be to hate on that, but to take advantage of that, if you will, for lack of a better word, and say, okay, I'm looking to please my clients that want to be different that want to be unique, okay? Are you all picking up what I'm putting down as Miss Ashley, my great, great friend and coach would say? All right, so pain, challenges. You also wanna know what their goals are. Guys, give me some hearts if you hear me, if you're feeling me, if this is some good stuff for you in your business, right? So identifying those pains, identifying those challenges, identifying those goals, right? Even identifying what their values are. What's important to them, okay? Very good. What's important to them? You know, my family is very important to me. My children are very important to me. Making sure that even though I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a boss chick and I, I like to call the shots, I want to make sure that my husband is taken care of. I want to make sure that dinner is prepared for him or whatever it is, you know, if we're going out. and I want to make sure that I have a really good family life, right? So that's valuable to me. Do you think that's important for you to know what's important to your client? Yeah, yeah, they may value family. They may value quiet time. They, you know, all even if you're in the travel industry, everybody doesn't want to do the same thing. You have to listen to your client. My husband was teasing me earlier. We had gone, uh, one of our anniversaries, I think we had decided to go to a quiet spot. I won't even name the spot so that no one won't be offended. But once we got there, it's uh, like a hustle and bustle kind of place during the summer. But during the winter, our anniversary is in February, so it's always cold just about everywhere in the U.S. in February. And um, so it was just like, I was like, I'm, I'm ready to leave. There's nothing going on, right? So he, of course, didn't identify what my desires were, what my after was. Now he knows that was early in our marriage, but now he knows for anniversary, I want, I love sightseeing. I love shopping. I like, you know, being able to have new experiences. I don't want to just chill. I want to be on the go, right? 
So it's the same thing. That's why the marriage is great, right? So if you want your business to be great, you have to listen. Oh my goodness, we have to listen, identify what the before is after are so that we can actually get people to their after okay so so far we've covered number one uh, identifying that people don't buy products and services they buy the after they buy the after they buy a transformation number two you have to get really really good at painting a picture painting a before and after okay and it doesn't matter what the industry is all right number three you have to understand your the pains the challenges the goals and the values of your client all of that falls into that before category find out where they are so you can take them where they want to go okay which is leading us to number four you want to promise them or at least show them the after People need hope, right? And if you can give them hope that, hey, you can lose five pounds in five days, right? If you can tell them, hey, you're going to be so cute in this car. All those jeans are going to look so wonderful on you. Whatever the particular industry is, man, when you get your CDL, you're going to be able to call the shots. One day you're on your own truck. Guys, I don't care what the industry is. Everybody has an after. And if you're smart, you're going to focus on, hey, what is the after that my client is desiring that's basically moving them from pain to pleasure okay move them from pain to pleasure show them that it is possible all right number five number five number five we're moving very quickly but i hope you guys are getting some value everything about your business should be customer centric or customer focused okay i kind of alluded to this earlier when i talked about you know websites if we're talking about before and afters you know and again this is a different kind of concept but it has helped me um obviously you want your website to be cute or you want a nice picture on your instagram but even if you think about it we're on instagram we're on twitter periscope when you're looking at your bio is it you focused or customer focused right is it is it saying something to a person about an after that you can give them okay that you can provide i want everybody to look at their bio once we get off and say wow am i telling people about an after that i can provide if you're not you need to fix that okay because we want to be customer centric we want to be customer focused that's in your social media that's on your website you're pointing people towards their after okay now how do you do this you, you can do this with pictures, okay? You can do it because, again, of course, before and afters, those are the most powerful in the world. I have a team of people that I work with in the health and wellness industry, and I tell them all the time, the most powerful thing you can do for your product is to show a before and after. Nobody cares about the product. Nobody cares there are 90 capsules in there. Nobody cares what it tastes like, really. I mean, it's great if something tastes good, but if it doesn't and it gives somebody the results they want, baby, they're going to do it anyway. So show them a picture. Show them what is possible. So you do that with pictures. But you can also do that with words. Words paint pictures, right? So again, you want to get really good at the language of your client. Speak in that language. You know, speaking, uh, uh, understanding how they, how they speak, right? And when I say that, meaning if you're talking to a millennial, <laughs> thank you. If you're talking to a millennial, it, your language will probably be a little bit different than if you're talking to someone that's 50 plus, right? Or a baby boomer, right? So again, what is the language? What is the language of my audience? And then speak it, speak it on the regular in your picture, speak it in your words. Guess what is very, very powerful? To paint that after, to show the after, you want to use video, right? I've gone to some websites and seen where, uh, for an example, there was a truck that would stop. I think it was like a company called Pods. You know, a person's house was so junky, their garage was so junky, and then Pods comes up. And that, you know, because the junky house is the before. The after is they put everything in that pod, the truck came pulled it away, and then everything was nice and neat, right? So they sold the after. The video shows that happening. It shows a happy couple, right? Those are the kinds of things that you can do with video, right? Live video, YouTube, Vimeo, whatever, something that you've had a chance to play with a little bit, or live. People love live, okay? So you want to be able to paint the before and after pictures, all right? And then, of course, mastering or speaking the language of your audience, understanding those pain points, etc. So let's use an example tonight because uh, a lot of times I feel like uh, as entrepreneurs, we try to group everybody in one group. I'm looking for women or I'm looking for men. Everybody likes my product. 
And that's not true. Everybody may like it. They may not need it, right? Um, I like blue nail color, real, real bright, bright colors. You know, for some people, it's too much, right? So you have to uh, hone in on what it is that your client wants. So for an example, a big category is moms. I'm a mom. I have three children, right? But they're all grown. So there'll be categories of moms. So you'll have a new mom, a, a mom that has, you know, a newborn. Her needs will be different than a mom that has a preteen. Don't you agree? So you, that means you have to know the language of that mom with a newborn. She's probably not sleeping. You know, she's probably questioning everything that she does, feeling inadequate. So you need to know how do you speak to that new mom, right? Now, the mom of a, hello, thank you so much for jumping on, Jumpstart Career Consultations. Awesome. So, again, when we don't want to have broad strokes. We want to segment the people that we are targeting, for an example. Okay? So, as we go back to that example, you have new moms. You have moms of toddlers. That's a different language, right? Then you have moms of preteens. And my God, when they get to that teenage years, that's a whole different, moms are thinking differently. They're, you know, children may be starting to drive. And so you're looking at driver's ed and boyfriends and girlfriends, all that kind of thing. And then you may have a mom like me that has a child in college and has a, a child that's recently married. So it's a different, you would speak to me differently than you would speak to the, those other categories. Uh, we often make the mistake of trying to paint an after uh, for everyone that I may not want. You know, it's like, oh, don't you just want, you know, peace and quiet and don't you, you know, that, that new mom may want that because she's not sleeping, right? I may be like, you know, no, I'm ready to go. Let's, let's hit it. You know, show me, let's, let's go on a cruise, <laughs> whatever. So you need to find out what it is that that person wants take that big group don't say i'm um, my product is for all women okay even though all women could use it all women may not want it okay so let's go ahead and close out here ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna do a quick quick recap and let you guys go i hope you got some value tonight i did tell you i wouldn't be on too long um, but anyway, we'll be back here again tomorrow, just kind of, you know, hitting some more online business building tips. I believe that these are some foundational things that you need, understanding the power of a before and after, okay? Whether that's a picture, whether that's a video, whether that's in Word, you have to learn how to paint those pictures, okay? Remember that people are not buying products and services. They're buying a transformation. They're buying an after. They are buying a result. What can you do? You have to ask yourself those kind of questions. What kind of value am I bringing to my industry? What kind of value am I bringing to my client, right? That will allow them to have the result that they desire, okay? You should be able to answer that definitively that what is it that you do? Secondly, you have to get really, really good at painting pictures and it does not matter what the industry is. Paint the after for the person, show them results because again, even if it's going to be hard, if they have to make a sacrifice, and I've seen it, you know, it's like, my goodness, you know, uh, you know, when a person is, you know, getting ready to do some coaching or whatever, and it's like, my goodness, how much is this going to cost? Paint the picture so they know no matter what the cost is, and, and this, this is relative as far as an example, they have to know that the result that they desire is possible for them. And if there's enough pain, they'll do what it takes to get that pleasure, Okay. You want to become really good at identifying goals and values, uh, challenges, right? Even pain points of your clients so that you can speak their language, okay? Promise them or show them the after. Show them that, you know, it's possible for them to be beautiful, to be more confident, you know, uh, to have, uh, you know, a great relationship. Whatever your industry is, you have to identify that, all right? Um, make sure that your website, make sure that your bio, make sure that whatever it is that you're portraying or sharing with the public uh, is customer centric, customer focused, not you focused, right? Customer focused, because again, you wanna speak their language and meet their needs. And then of course, we want to do these things with pictures, with videos, with colors even, 
colors. You know, if something is gray, that will convey sadness perhaps, but then you can show something bright, yellow, like my office is fuchsia, right? Showing them after. You can use all types of methods that can speak to that subconscious that uh, better is possible for them, right? I mean, that's even when you think about church, when a person wants to get saved, the reason they get saved is because they have hopes of better, okay? You need to be able to do that and then master that language. Uh, find out what your particular target is, segment it down, don't do these broad strokes, do the homework that, that is necessary so that you can speak the language, meet those needs, right? Get them from that before to that after, all right? Well, this has been Tracy Davis with MySuccessZone.com, MySuccessZone.com, and I wanna encourage you guys to click the link in my bio, check me out, guys. I have all kinds of information, uh, some free, uh, a free ebook, matter of fact, that goes into detail on some online uh, essentials that you need to build a successful business. Go ahead and get that tonight. You can just click the link in my bio. And then, of course, if you need a strategy session, want to have a private conversation with me for about 15 minutes or so, you can schedule that as well. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks so much for hanging out. If you're on Periscope or Twitter, guys, I hope you will share this, tweet this, give me some hearts if you're watching the replay. And I'll see you all again on tomorrow, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Thanks and God bless you. Good night. Good night, parents.